We will call the October 27th uh, Caribou City Council meeting to order. Uh, it should be a fairly short meeting tonight, so. Anyway, the first item on our agenda is public input. Do we have any public input tonight from anyone? Declaration of conflicts of interest from the City Council regarding any agenda items. None. Uh, general assistance ordinance amendments. This is a public hearing tonight, is it not, Manager Blaze? Correct. Okay, we'll uh, we'll open the public hearing at 7:02. And Manager Blaze, sir, is the city clerk going to lead us through this? Good evening, Jane Farron, uh, General Assistance Administrator. We are here again in the fall with our annual look at the um, um, changes to the food and the housing cost. These are uh, given to us by um, Maine Municipal, the recommendations to keep our ordinance in compliance with the state. So we will be able to get our reimbursement. I can go through the numbers, but um, if you have any questions. Uh, I also would like to point out that these changes um, are not part of, of um, changes done to general assistance under the current um, governor's administration. Any questions? Any questions for anyone on council? Any comments from anyone here? <clears throat> no comments? We'll close the public hearing at 7.03. Mary, can I move that we accept the general assistance uh, ordinance amendments as <coughs> described by the clerk? Second. Motion by Councilor McDonough, second by Councilor Martin to accept the general assistance ordinance amendments as provided. All those in favor? Passed. The next item is the downtown street repairs for 2015. Manager, please. As we've uh, briefly discussed during the budget process, there's an opportunity for the city to do a Two inch mill and fill on Herschel Street, Sweden Street, Record Street, and part of Hatch Drive. Those are the areas uh, shaded in the map below. This will be done utilizing a state program that does a 50 50 cost share with the cities. Typically, a fully funded state program would do a better cost share than this, but these roads are not on the docket to be completed anytime soon. They're in pretty rough shape. We think that they need to be done sooner rather than later. The estimate for this project to be completed is $200,000. We've set aside $125,000 in the economic development funds for infrastructure for the 2015 budget year. So this would come within that budget under the current projections. I'm sure every councilor is quite familiar with the roads. They are in pretty rough shape in each spring and winter. We do fix a large number of potholes <coughs> on the streets. What we, would need to, what we would need tonight is for the council to either authorize us to work with DOT to get this project done or decide not to do that. As DOT is currently working on their project schedule, we would need to contact them soon to let them know if we're interested in taking part of this program for next year or not. Are any of these roads scheduled on the docket at any time right now? None of them have a PIN number currently. Two. Okay. Right. Right. How many feet? How many miles? Oh, that's probably a mile, to, mile and a half total. okay if I ask a question yes or two ahead. or three uh, speaking of the pin numbers if we do this is that gonna uh, push the potential of getting any pin numbers for these projects that are supposed to have been done since back in 2005 or 6 or 7 or 8 are you talking High Street High Street and no. Sweden Street this, Sweden Road this project um, this project that they have is the funds are separate from the other ones, so it wouldn't affect the pin numbers for any of these, um, Sweden okay. Street or High Street. And I know we we addressed the truck truck traffic, and you came back and said that there was nothing that we could do. 
is that nothing we as the city can do or is that nothing the state can do to post the roads for no through trucks nothing that the state is willing to do Mac, they explained the process to me um, <clears throat> Part of the process of no trucks is any of the trucks that are now coming through town, they have to be stopped and then they have to be asked if they could find an alternate route. Uh, DOT said in all their years they have never once been able to stop truck traffic through a downtown. I, well, I understand that, but uh, the thing is we just spent $14 million for a road to go around the city to do just that and it's not happening. 25. <clears throat> all right, 25 million, excuse me. All right. Not, not all traffic can go around. It depends on the destination of where that vehicle is going to. I, I don't believe we'll ever stop all the traffic, all, all the heavy trucks. I'm, I'm agreeable to the exceptions, naturally. I mean, if yeah. somebody has to go out the Woodland Road, I wouldn't expect them to go way out there and then back down. Correct. All I'm saying is, is that there seems to be a lot of go-through traffic that could. Right. Okay, that's all. But it's not our it's not within our capabilities to stop them from doing that is what I'm telling you. That's the information that I found out from MDOT. And uh, does does this impact any of our 2015 schedule for our streets that we're scheduling to do? No, it does not. Okay. That will continue as as planned. And then I noticed, according to your handy dandy road condition report. Mm -hmm. is back as far as 2006 or 7, all three of these roads were shown at 100%. Not Sweden, well, but, but, but Hers Herschel Street was done in 2006. Okay. Um, <coughs> and so we're talking eight years for Herschel Street. Um, and, and as we can see what's happening on Herschel Street is the pavement is worn <coughs> so thin that it's starting to delaminate. Right. And now, if that you're going to do what you call it, uh, mill, and mill, fill. mill and fill, correct. Okay. So that's is that considered a maintenance t application, or is that considered? No, that's beyond maintenance. That's beyond maintenance. That's beyond, yes. So what's the ex life expectancy once we do that? If we can, if we can take the mill machine and set the profile with the mill machine <clears> so that we actually have a two percent slope. I would believe that we could get 10 to 12 years out of this treatment. What was done last time? Just an overlay. Yeah, an inch and a half overlay. And we've worn through that in eight years. Are there any drainage improvements need to be done along those streets? The drainage is in fairly decent shape. Uh, we've had <clears throat> a couple of catch basin upper halves that we've replaced right on Sweden Street itself. Um, Herschel Street, uh, it's not too bad. The worst spot on Herschel Street is right in front of Dr. Small's office. It's a little low spot there. The water lays there, and I really <coughs> feel bad for that business. I mean, they're being sprayed all the time because of water not getting to the catch basin there. One of the biggest reasons for doing the mill is obviously to get rid of the, the weak surface that's there, but they do have uh, laser-guided shoes, and with them shoes, we can actually set a profile to that road so we can get the water off the road and to the curb line. So that makes a big difference. Um, when we did Herschel Street eight years ago, we tried to do it with a paver, but it's nowhere near as accurate as a laser guided milling machine. So. So are you, is this all this work going to get bid out or is this work that's going to be done by Public Works? No, it will have to be bid. Um, public Works does not have a milling machine and... I didn't know if it was similar to what we did here. That's what we are thinking about doing. No. Similar as you done where now? Right up front. High Street. No, no. That, that was just a little, uh, that was a little skid steer that we did that project with and we actually hired... Uh, lanes for that but uh, on a small project like this we were just actually looking to take the hump out of the wheel rut so that we could compact with our rollers uh, this is a little bit more of a full-scale project uh, are they come are they changing the product the product is nowhere near as good as it was 15 years ago so can you spec it no well <laughs> So, <laughs> Shane, <laughs> you're, you're the exception here, buddy. 
Airport seems to use a different type of material, but it's still made out of the liquid base asphalt, where we've noticed the big difference in the road surfaces when they took the oils out. Once, once the asphalt lost the oils and we started using cutback materials is when we've noticed that road surface doesn't last as long. Uh, I think the other thing too is 15 years ago they used a much harder mix, the design was a little different, uh, and we probably all remember driving and you in your car to go tunk 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 right steady hitting cracks in the road, longitudinal cracks is what they were called. With new pavements being a little bit more pliable, them longitudinal cracks have gone away by two thirds. Those expansion joints, right? Yeah, they're not expansion. <laughs> That's what they look like. So but then, so then the 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 life expectancy that you gave us ten to twelve is that based on the new composition or the old composition? I no, I would say that if we can actually do a mill and fill where we can put two to two point five inches, we will get twelve ten to twelve years out of that product. And and originally my program that you were referred to, I had hoped that we'd get twelve years out of all of our uh, DOT roads. But Herschel Street has such a high traffic amount that it's just not going to happen. No, Chip Seal's looking better and better all the time. <laughs> Chip Seal would never last right here in town, though, <clears throat> Mr. Martin. It's just not, it's not thick enough. On your secondary streets, it would, the ones that don't get a lot of traffic. Oh, sure. I mean, yeah. I mean, when I grew up, that's all they did. But it wasn't Chip, then it was sand. Yeah? <clears throat> Liquid cut. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. Where, did, where did you grow up? In the city. A real city. Had <laughs> sixty thousand plus people. Council merchants. So, the budget for the for the total project is two hundred thousand dollars, and our share is half that, fifty-fifty. Okay. And that's if MDOT accepts that for a project for two thousand fifteen. I mean, we're going to ask them for participation in that. They may refuse us. Um, but I also know that as of three weeks ago, when I asked about High Street one more time, there was still money available for the 50-50 cost sharing for 2015. I think the other thing too that's pretty important is uh, because we are an urban compact zone, there's duties that's responsibility of us and then there's duties that are responsibility of the MDOT. Maintenance is our responsibility, and uh, if like a one inch overlay, inch and a quarter overlay, like we did for Herschel Street, that would really be considered maintenance. A mill and fill, we're, we're beyond my definition of maintenance, but if we don't do something with it, I mean, Sweden Street, I've been with the city for 17 years and zero has been done on Sweden Street. And when I talk about Sweden Street, I'm talking from the post office up right. to uh, the Legion, okay. yes, up to Prospect, yep. yes. But that's all part of state. Yes, it is. You are correct. Record Street is all state. As a matter of fact, if we threw in a street, we'll say like Grange or Center, to go along with this project, they would not fund anything towards that because them are, them are townways. Them are not state aid roads. They will only participate in this 50-50 match on roads that belong to the state. I was wondering about that. It says Garage Street on this map. <laughs> Grange. Grange is not in bad shape, though. We could leave Grange alone. And same way with Center. Uh, we, we're all right with that, too. But Record Street is in pretty rough shape. Obviously, when you turn right at the island, you turn onto Record. <laughs> Uh, the wheel ruts are pretty bad there, but it's only one lane, so it doesn't really affect anybody. But I'll bet they're pretty close to four inches deep. They can be able to grind that? Yeah. When they come in with a grinder, it will be a full seven foot width. And what they'll do is, and, and they can set that to any depth they want on either side of that seven foot grind. Uh, it has the conveyor belt that shoots the, the hot top out into the trucks. About the radius, so they got to swing that curve. Yeah, it's no problem. No problem at all. They'll go right down through there. That may be something that uh, if, if we decide to do this project, we may end up having to do that at night, but uh, it doesn't take them long to grind. I guess just one other quick thing to add. I, I'd be happy to um, 
work with you on maybe that spec. Mm -hmm. um, I think there's something that you can do. I think it's something that the necessarily the local <laughs> asphalt plants don't like to do, but yeah, <laughs> you know, I'm all ears when it comes to it. I'll tell you, so but I would uh, offer that anyway. So. Well, it's an M dot stick, right? It's an M dot standard, but there's there's uh, different things you can do to it. Yeah. So. Any other questions? Thanks, David. Thank you, guys. What are council's wishes? Do you want to move forward with this? So moved. Second. <clears throat> moved by Councillor Martin, second by Councillor McDonough to move forward and apply for the uh, cost sharing program on the streets as detailed on this map. All those in favor? Passed. Well, that's the last of the agenda items other than other business. Anyone have any other business tonight? I, I got two requests. Yeah. Mr. Bleeth? Sir? Can we produce that product that I had talked to you about is for a total compensation for the employees? The council would like us to, to do that. We can do that. If you did do that, could you do it by department? Sure. And, and naturally redact any PI <coughs> That I think that that would be beneficial to the council and to whomever else that may use it going forward with the budget. And what is it? Just let you know what each individual is total compensation is for the year. That's all. By total compensation, you're talking salary benefits. Salary benefits, leave, sick time, blah, 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 blah. Is that something the council would like us to put together? Yeah, right. I'm happy by department. I don't have to go by employee by employee, but yeah, I don't think we need to know employee by employee either. <coughs> Public information, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yep, it is. Yeah. So. so, what is the consensus? I mean, I guess if he wants it, he'd ask for public information. Council doesn't want. Well, um, the uh, we we would make a report if the council wants us to, but we don't have anything right now. That yeah, they'd have to on. generate the product. That's why I asked. Yeah. Right. So. I mean, I guess I. I'm used to seeing that, but. You know, in, in business, I've been in on employee costs, total employee cost by employee, and so on. I don't know how everybody else feels. Okay, the more I think it would be helpful. Better. Yeah, I think it would be helpful. Right. I'd say go ahead then. Sure. Can we, can, do that. Can, we, can we get a three year accounting with the capital improvements with the primary and the subs and then total balance to date? I'll work Please. with the department heads to. Huh? I'll work with the department heads to. Thank you. I mean, uh, what, what are we talking about? I, I asked for an accounting of the capital improvements three years. Okay. For just the ones we have in our budget? or what? Yeah, just on page 37, 38, and 39, not all of them. Just the ones that we discussed in, in the budget. And that may be just about all of them anyway, if I'm not. Does that show what the balance is in all those accounts? <coughs> On that thing we it have. shows the three-year history of expenses. That's right. All. The balance sheet shows what's currently yeah. in there. Yeah. Right. That's all I got right now. Any other business? I guess on one other other thing worth uh, mention is people are traveling around uh, the city. If they're on Collins Street, they'll notice that we've started doing some some uh, uh, removal of, of <coughs> blighted buildings on that street. I, I believe it's all knocked down and most of it's picked up and gone by now but uh, so we're making making some headway on that front it's still a little left at 20 but the, the, the white house up up above is gone it's ready for you it is gone yeah. and uh, 20 is will be done hauling the debris out tomorrow and weather permitting we will haul fill material back in to fill the holes <coughs> 
sorry, let me pull out the new deck. I think we're going to go out for some RFPs to see uh, who wants to do what with them. And yeah. There's a few people that have expressed interest. Good. Any other, anyone else with any other business? I guess the, uh, I will mention the, the candidates forum that was done here a week ago this past Saturday. Uh, there's been some glitches with trying to replay it. Uh, it sounds like mm, they may have been taken care of. We should know tomorrow. Uh, and if it is looked after, it'll start playing tomorrow uh, sometime, and we'll probably play right straight through now until the election. So anyone that wants to hear the candidate forum should be able to hear them. And Wednesday is the auction, correct? on the old bird's eye property. Yeah. Gonna be on site. On site. Yeah. We'll see you there. And it's what is it, ten o'clock? Ten AM. Okay. Cool. Thanks. All right. The only other thing we have here are the upcoming meetings. We've got meetings on uh, <coughs> November the tenth at seven o'clock and November twenty fourth at seven o'clock. Both regular city council meetings and the November tenth meeting is uh, the one where we will have a public hearing on the uh, budget, correct? correct? Yep. <coughs> All right. Is that it? Anything else? Someone move to adjourn? Uh, do we? Should we, we go into two, executive session? Got a couple executive sessions. Oh yeah, we here. do. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Well, May can I move we go into executive ses session pursuant to one MRSA four zero five six A to discuss a personnel matter? Second. All in favor? We will go into executive session at 723. And thank you everyone for coming. So what city is this? You're